Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late 2022. The US have confirmed they are sending JDAM, Joint Direct Attack Munition, to Ukraine. JDAM, a guidance kit that can be fitted to traditional standardized non-guided bombs to convert it into a guided bomb. The guidance is via inertial and GPS navigation and makes it a fire and forget or drop and forget weapon. Now to use JDAM in a non-contested airspace is very simple. You fly at 20, 30, maybe 40,000 feet into the max range, which is about 15 miles. Drop the bomb on a target, turn around, go home. But Ukrainians are not going to be operating in an uncontested airspace. It's very much contested by long-range Russian SAMs and airborne fighters. So today we're going to look at how Ukraine can use JDAM effectively in a contested airspace. When we do these proof of concept type videos, we like to ramp the difficulty up to maximum in a worst case scenario. So today we're going to be trying to bomb an S-400 battery. So we're not just operating in an S-400 network. S-400 has a very long range, by the way. I will zoom out, you can see wow, all that range. But we're actually going to try and bomb the S-400 itself to make it as hard as we can. As well as that, S-400 will be protected by, to be honest, a pretty unrealistic but maximum difficulty mode of eight SU-35 frontline fighters, all equipped with maximized R-77-1. How? Can we use JDAM to bomb that S-400 and survive? We're going to try two different methods. The first method, we're going to take off, and we're starting a deliberately unrealistic 50 miles away. Why is that? It's because we don't want to take off a realistic two or 300 miles away because the video will take ages. So we're expediting by starting close. As long as we keep very, very low, earth curvature and line of sight will mean that the S-400 battery won't be able to fire at us at this range anyway. So we will be safe at 50 miles. The first way we'll do is follow our waypoint chain to the S-400 and we'll try a traditional drop. We'll go up to 20, maybe 30,000 feet, Try and get within the 15 mile JDAM envelope ring, drop the bomb, turn around and go home. Now, will that work? Well, almost certainly not, because the SAM is going to shoot us down and the SU 35 is going to shoot us down, but we'll show you anyway. Our second attempt, we're going to push the JDAM to its absolute maximum capacity by using it in a TOS configuration. The JDAM isn't really designed for TOS, but it is very much capable of it. The reason we'd use a TOS is if we were operating in a SAM network, like Ukraine may have to and keep really low out of the line of sight of the SAM, but deliver a bomb with perfect accuracy. So the second time round, we will take off by 15 miles south to waypoint one. We will then get to waypoint two, which will be our IP. Then we'll run in, and this will all be done at 50 feet off the ground. So it's incredibly important we keep fast and we keep low. This will help us avoid the radars of these fighters up here and the radar of the S-400. Once we're about five or six miles away from the target, we will climb up, we will toss the bombs, as soon as the bombs are released, we're turning around and we're going back. We should be able to escape any missiles that are fired in time. Meanwhile, the bombs will be tossing over, guide themselves in and take the target out. The aircraft today will be flying R, not the MiG-29. Now, in real life, my sources tell me that the first aircraft that will receive JDAM will be MiG-29. Is that accurate information? Probably not. It's probably just guesswork. Apparently, Americans are designing now the software that will allow these aircraft to drop the JDAMs. The JDAMs we'll be using today are a GBU-31, 2,000 pound variant. As you can see here, we've got the bombs to work and drop from a MiG-29, the most prevalent Ukrainian fighter bomber at the moment. But we can't get the guidance symbology to work in the cockpit. Without the guidance symbology, it's almost impossible to get these JDAMs in the basket and on target. So today, we're going to bend history a little bit. We're going to say that we've been donated a bunch of Polish F-16s. These can also carry the JDAM, but the good thing about it is they are designed to have the symbology from scratch to work. So we'll get the guidance symbology for the bombs in our cockpit here, which will help us get the bombs on target. So guys, needless to say, the first attempt, we're almost certainly going to get shot down. But what do you think about the efficacy of us going at 50 feet and tossing these JDAMs onto the target? We're pretty much sure the toss will work because we've obviously had a practice, but not against the S-400 and not against the SU-35. So do you think it's realistic that we'll be able to get to target undetected? If I can bomb a house, I can bomb an S-400. I kind of think the S-400 is one of those unbeatable SAMs, but we'll see what we can do. 
All right, I'm going for a 50-50. Stand by. All right, guys, first attempt, tra traditional high-level bombing. Switchology, master arm on. IPC, air to ground. Right screen, power the bomb on. Steer point increment to three. Everyone apart from the lead, please. Otherwise, set the jet up to your specification. You ready? Three. Four. Five. Five. Whatever, seven. <laughs> uh, right, cap ready. I would like Simba to take off, get to waypoint one at about 400 knots, about 50 feet off the ground. We'll all form up in a rough trail formation and I'll give orders from there. Simba, off you go. Good luck, everyone. Roll one. Wheels up. Cap rolling. Wheels up. Fire wheels up. Sock wheels up. We're done, everyone. Okay, cafe boom. Okay, Simba Wimba, speed check please. 390, moving to 400. Visual. Simba, we're all with you. You can move just shy of mil power now, please. Someone still has their gear down. Right, sort it out, whoever you are. Okay. Bonker. There's now two with gear down. That didn't work out so good. Come on, guys, press that G button. Uh, if you're uh, if you're over 300 knots, it's not going to go up. Nah, yeah, oh well. We tried. Headed to uh, turn into waypoint two. Watch your Simba Wimba. Right. Daddy. Waypoint Left two. Full in now. Burner on and please climb to 20 to 30,000 feet because we're going for our traditional bomb now, Simba. All right. That'd be quite steep. We've only got 50 miles to go. Here we go. Power of the F 16. Got dirt. Yes, we certainly do. When we get to wave step point two, please turn for step point three, and then we'll be on target. You want fifteen? Or twenty. Spike. Spike. Twenty. Missiles inbound. Oh no! <laughs> it's going chop wire. Chop wire. We've woken it up. Yeah. Does SOC have permission to go defensive? No, you do not. We're doing a uh, traditional bomb. I just want to show what happens and why we can't do this. So we're going to get hit, obviously. Leveling out at 20. All right. We need to get within about, I don't know, 10 to 15 miles envelope. Um, leads down. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm going full power. I'm going to try and go for it. 20,000 feet. Use your symbol. Oh, no. I'm still going. Oh, missile went right past my face. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not so good. Keep going, Violet. 20,000 feet. Don't you bottle it. Holy kapowza. 
Oh, she is still going. Look at that. Ultraviolet doing a thing. If you can get in range of drop those bombs, you drop those bombs. That'll be an S400 problem. I am out of path. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Violet, Violet. All right, viewers, uh, let me put cheat mode just to show you what was going on behind the scenes. Uh, that was going on and the planes were shooting us as well. Obviously, we were never going to make that, but it's proof of concept of how we can't operate at 20, 30,000 feet in an S400 Samnet. Now let's try it again, but we're going to go 50 feet all the way. Right, Simba, when I say please take off, we're doing the waypoint chain this time at 50 feet. Off you go. Keep it at 400 until we're caught up. Good luck, everyone. Rolling. Fire rolling. Do, do, do. Wheels up. Right, for God's sake, put your gear up. Wheels up. Rolling. Wheels up. They have been selected to the up position. That's good enough. You're going to pass Cannonball. Airborne and gear up. All right, I'm coming, you hogs. Simba, take us to waypoint one. Vipers. 400 knots, 50 feet, please. They all got their gear up this time, War Dog. Cannonball was going too fast for his gear to be up. God damn it, Cannonball. What's the matter with you guys? There's one button you've got to press. Literally one button. Never mind. The value views, if you can see, the curvature of the Earth means S400 cannot see us. Not until we're real freaking close. However, this is not without its dangers, obviously. We could hit telegraph poles, telegraph wires, sorry. We could hit trees. We could hit Auntie Maisie's washing line. All things that could be hit. Have a wing wag, Simba. Got you. Right, we'll be retaining low altitude this time, please. Also, you can step up to just sub mill power, please. A firm. Pull the way, point two, going to mill. Alright, back just off from mill. Right, when will the Sukhois see us? When will S400 see us? Who knows? Oh no. Ready, bird? We just had a mid-air mid collision. Oh, are you two are out, unfortunately. I'm still flying. I don't know who the other one is. Alright, you carry on then, Violet. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Cannonball. No worries. Distance to waypoint two, please lead. Nine miles. Thank you. No pings on RWR yet. No. We are doing good things, guys. Thank God the Earth is curved. I know it's not a popular thing to say nowadays, but... What in the name of Big and Rio we do? Right? <laughs> Power lines. Go under. No, oh, they're too low. Yeah, I'd like to see you go under those. Shit! Watch out for that tree! It's very dangerous. This is pretty much what Ukrainian jets are doing at the moment to avoid SAM nets. It's a very dangerous way of life. Yeah, are you calling the cab, George of the Jungle? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pull the waypoint three. Waypoint three. For an IP. Pull. Is that your hick maneuver, Dam? Yeah. All right, start getting lined up. Simba, give call outs. Tell us when to mile. Tell us when to pull. Guys, make sure you're relatively close, or pull at the same point that Simba is pulling up, rather than the same time he's pulling up. That makes sense. Ten miles to pull. Ah! Ready, Dam? Watch out for that tree, Dam. You dead. George, George, George of the jungle, watch out for that tree. Fourteen miles. Flankers have seen us. Thanks, Dan. Your dead That's why my apology is leading off to the right of the waypoint. I don't know. I don't know. 
Are you definitely on three? I'm on wave point three. I'm on steer point three, correct. You're right behind them, Fire Dad. You're on the same line as them. Um, follow us, cap. follow us. Use us as a guidance. Yeah, just my my uh, symbology is saying it's going somewhere else. Right, we're going to have to ignore it. You're about to overtake them, Fire Dad. Don't do I that. I see him. I see him. Seven Two miles. miles to pull. Yep. All right, Simba's pulling in three, two, one, pull. Cap burner pull. Ah, 15 degrees, drop, drop, ow. 9G. Ah, don't pass drop out. Drop bombs and go. Cap's out of here. I'll see you all in friggin' hell. Autopilot on. Mine aren't going bombs. off. Woo! Mine aren't going off. Okay, get out. Just get out home. West, west, west. I'm following the bombs. One of you's got too close. You're going to get shot. Bombs are gonna friggin' hit! Look at this! Look at this! Missiles out! Missiles out! Missiles out! Get lower! Get yes! Shack! A whole bunch of knobheads. Two of us got bombs on target, and it was enough. It was enough. I don't think it can fire anymore. Look at that, viewers! It's proof of friggin' contact, and I'm still alive. All right, to treat ourselves, guys, we're gonna go home and try and land. Do it now. Go west. Valued viewers, did you see that? And was that satisfying? Yes. Who's still alive? Fire. Simba. Violet. Cap. Violet, Violet, you and Cap are being pursued. Violet. Cap. Burn west. Enemy. 14 miles behind you, Angels. 26. I don't know how to fire our 77s from an F-16. I'm going to just run. Once we get to base, I'll call it. I'll say we've won. Could just get to base. Kills were from Cap and Simba. Well done. Cap, you're, you're a little high there. Roger, um, the Sam's dead, so um, all we got to do is get to base now. The flankers are not shooting at you, and they're maintaining Angels 20. Uh, I don't know. I've done the best I can with them. They're set to max seal level, and they're set to cap. They can't probably see you. They just haven't seen us. Yeah. They've got no way wax. They've got no way wax, so they just genuinely haven't seen us. Well, I think you're out of parameters at that altitude. Yep. Yeah, yep. Right, you can eject over the... Oh, they're, if they're not chasing us, guys, we'll go and land then. We'll go and land properly. Oh, they're chasing you. Oh. Chasing you. Yeah, just eject over the thing then. I don't want to stop. If you go to waypoint one and turn right, you'll see a river and a road. That'll take you home. All right, step point one. No, hang on. Does it have a zip or step point zero? Nope, no steer point zero. Right, Violet, me and you are break two, five, five. I'm going to try and land lining myself up. Even though actually, thought, if we're going to count this as a win if we get shot or not, because the flank is coming, but I'm going to try and land. Drop and tank. Last one to land is a rotten egg. Why would you drop a perfectly good tank? Combat situation. Bingo fuel. Where's the friggin' base? Tully! Vigil base! Camp running in for extreme run and break. Only one thing can help me here, that valued viewers. Oh, hang on. Convertible mode solves all of your woes. I got there. Good job. Getting rid of some weight. Dirt. What are you getting picked up by? Sorry, nails. Cap landing. Same vector as we. No, opposite vector, opposite vector that we uh, took off, please, guys. Cap face. How close are the Sukhois? They're overhead. Oh, close. sweet, they're overhead. <laughs> About five miles, but still at Angels 20. or one's descending now. All right, they're coming to shoot us. If anyone can make it down, I give you a chocolate medal. Remember, the runway is 018 for you. Can't get this bird to slow down. What the hell? What's the matter with it? Oh, my throttle's jammed. Shit! Ah, that was weird. Come on, 9G. Give me 9G. We just had a super go. Overhead. I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. Fire that's gonna do it. Wah! I just got boomed by uh, SU-35. Get off. Cab landing. All right, guys, stick it down. There's a jink. Avoid the jink in the road. Fire that's touched the ground. Don't spoon it up, with mate. With wheels. With his wheels. Not with his wiener. Like Not with Ooh. his face. That's an interesting landing fighter. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Look if at it, this. If it, it works, it out. 
Oh, buff that gear out. This, uh, I'm you... alive. Wow, how did you land that? Respect. Skill. Oh, the other guy didn't use so much skill. Ooh. Buzzed by an FT-35 again. Yeah, they're all buzzing you now. <laughs> Maximum concentration. Simba, start of the unjinxed part of the road is 0480 at uh, 3 miles. Run and fire, Dad. Cap down the safe. Ah, it's easy, guys. Blind Monkey could do that. It's about 062 now, Simba. Cap up. Why? Is Simba lost? Where is he? Oh, he's merged with a flanker. Ah, huh. how about that, Simba? It rolled, up. it rolled over right as I was parking. Get pull! Get in! Hey, oh, Simba Winda! Well done. Now come and land it, damn it. The people's champ. Right, if you go due east, it'll put you on an intercept. Right. He's only got seven left. To deal New with. heading of one, one, zero. Make it choppy, Simba. Runway is on your nose by one mile, heading right to left. Intersecting runway now. Oh, we're getting straight. God damn it. We're getting straight by knobheads. Leave me alone. What is that with you? Stick it down, Simba Wimba. Stick it down. Here. Get that gear Landing out, Simba. Gear. Landing gear. Nice. Oh you shit. Lucky shit. boy. Simba! Oh! <laughs> you, you unlucky boy. <laughs> he, he did the best he could. I'm still good. I'm still good. I'm going back up, guys. Stop this. Oh, my engine failed. God damn it. Valued viewers, uh, and that was a bit weird, right? But sometimes we like to have a bit of fun. We showed you that normal JDAM usage. I'm going to get shot in a um, S400 Samnet. Just isn't possible. You'll just get shot down. So you got to think gorilla. So going low and popping up and tossing the bombs over, like we showed you, will work. Do they have to do it that extreme in real life? No. We only had to do it this extreme because we were literally bombing the S400. If you were 50 miles away from the S400, you wouldn't have to do it that extreme. You could probably go from 2,000 feet, pop up to 3,000 feet, toss the bomb, and you'll get a lot more range on it as well. But as proof of concept, I think that's a good showing of what's possible with an unmodified JDAM. Anything to add, guys? Good fun. Good fun. If you can bomb a building, you can bomb an S400. Well, that man said. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later.